Hi everyone and welcome to the MAT 211 review of Bayes' Theorem. My name is Julia and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So we want to use Bayes' Theorem to compute the indicated probability. Now we have that the probability of A given B is 0 0.3, the probability of B is 0 0.8, and the probability of A given B not or B doesn't happen, however you want to say that, is 0 0.1. And we want to find the probability of B given A. So there's a couple of different ways to look at this when we're using Bayes' theorem. We can use the theorem directly, so the formula directly, or we can also use a probability tree. So for this, I'm actually going to do both just so you see how they are related. So first, let's look at our probability tree. So given what we know, I'm going to start by kind of drawing some branches here. And we'll maybe draw a second branch here and a second branch here. So this starting, so notice that we have the probability of A given B, but we have B by itself. So this first area is going to be the probability of B. So this first, I guess you would say column, the first split. So we're going to have that either we go to B or that we go to B not. Now, so that's like, kind of the node before we start the each, right? So now we know that the probability of, let me erase my scribbles off of this, the probability of B is 0 0.8. So let's fill that in on the branch here just so we kind of keep track of it. So we have 0 0.8 there. We don't know what the probability of B naught is yet. We'll get that into a second, get into that in a second. Let's fill out the rest of our tree with what we currently know. So for this second branch, now that B has already happened, we want to look at whether we have A, given that B happened, or A not, given that B happened. Now we know that the probability of A given B is 0 0.3. But again, we don't know the probability of A not given B here, so we'll have to solve for that in a minute. Lastly, we have on our B not branch here, we could either go to A, given that B not, or A not, given that B not. And we know from our problem statement that A given B not is 0 0.1. So we'll fill that in here. So what about what we don't know? Well, we don't know yet what B not is. However, recall that B, the probability of B plus the probability of B not has to equal one because you can either have one or the other. Uh, we don't have any other choices here. So you, we either go to B or we go to B not. So since we know that probability B is 0 0.8, we can solve for B naught by subtracting our 0 0.8 from both sides. So that gives us probability of B naught equals 1 minus 0 0.8, which is 0 0.2. So let's fill that in here, 0 0.2. So we're going to do the same thing for our other um, kind of splits here. So once we know that B has happened, we either can go to A or A not. So again, we know that the probability of A given B plus the probability of A not given B is equal to one. And we know that the probability of A given B is 0 0.3 plus our probability of A not given B, which equals one. So then again, just subtracting our 0 0.3 from both sides, we get that probability of A not plus B equals one minus 0 0.3, or that is probability of A not given B equals one minus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.7. 
So we'll fill that in here. And we'll do exactly the same process for this one, just looking at these two probabilities here and knowing that they saw, have to um, sum to one, well, that means that this has to be 0 0.9, since 0 0.9 plus 0 0.1 equals one. So now we have all of our probabilities filled in. Let me erase all my extra doodles here. Now let's talk about how we would use this with Bayes' probability. Okay, so first let's talk about what Bayes' theorem is. So Bayes' theorem, we can start, this comes all from conditional probability, but we have that the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of, well first, A intersect B over B, or probability of B. So we know that to be true. We can reverse this to also say that probability of A, oops, excuse me, probability of B given A is going to be the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of A. So those are you know, the two different conditional uh, probability branches we have. If we solve both of these for probability of A intersect B, that gives us the probability of A given B times the probability of B equals the probability of A intersect B. And similarly, we have that the probability of B given A times the probability of A equals the probability of A intersect B. So notice that these two are the same. So we can use those to connect you know, these two parts of our, um, uh, each of our equations giving us probability of A given B times probability of B equals the probability of B given A times the probability of A. So now this is important because this means we can write um, our Bayes theorem in either way. So if we want to look for, you know, solve for the probability of A given B, which is typically the way that uh, Bayes uh, theorem is given, so we would have A given B, and we'll just divide this guy over to the other side. So that gives us the probability of B given A times the probability of A divided by the probability of B. Now in our case though, we're looking for the probability of B given A. So let's do the same thing, but now we're going to divide this guy over to the other side. So that would give us the probability of B given A equals this whole side, probability of a given B times the probability of B all over the probability of A. So this guy here is what we're trying to solve for. So I'm going to erase the rest just because I know that we have to make some space for ourselves here, but I'll leave that at the bottom since that's our target. So just remember that that's where that comes from though, and that allows you to kind of quickly solve for it in either direction to figure out how your layout looks, because it can be a little tricky to remember this formula. So given that we know that we want this, we, so let's look at what we have first of all. So we have the probability of A given B, that's up here, 0 0.3, and we have the probability of B, that's given as well. But we don't have this probability of A. So we calculate probability of A, or whatever the probability of the denominator is in the, in the Bayes theorem equation, by using the law of total probability. And what that means, and we'll write it with respect to A in this case, the probability of A is going to equal the sum from I equals one to N of the probability of A, so that always starts with the A, or whatever's in you know, your target probability here, right? Given BI, and I'll explain what that means in a minute, times the probability of BI. Now what probability of BI is, is each of the probabilities that would be on the other side. So in this case, we have two Bs. We have B and we have B not. So those are the two different conditions we could have kind of in this first level here, right? So in our case, we would actually be looking for the sum from 
so since there's two of them, it would be I equals one to two here of all of this. So if we want to write this out a little more fully, that's going to be um, the probability of A given B times the probability of B plus the probability of A given B naught times the probability of B naught. So it's kind of like you're summing up all the different ways you can get to A, if that makes sense. So notice that we have all of that in our, our equation or our tree here. So we have the probability of A given B, oops, let me not write over all of this. Let's try that again. Come on, give me my pen, there we go. So here we go. This is, so this is our kind of first branch here. That's the first way we can get to A. And if we go over into our B, our B naught over here, we can also get to get A this way. So we're gonna, you know, multiply the two probabilities of each of these, um, you know, full pathways, I guess. And then we're gonna add those together. So that's what gives you this. So if we do go ahead and do that, we get the probability of A given B is going to be 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 times the probability of B, which we know to be 0 0.8, plus the probability of A given not B, which is 0 0.1, times the probability of B not, which we figured out was 0 0.2. And if we do the math on that, we get 0 0.26. So now we have everything we need to calculate this guy. So I'm gonna write this up in the corner here because I'll have to erase it. So probability of A equals 0 0.26. And let me erase, erase, erase. Erase, 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 erase. There we go. All right, so then we have, so we have the, both of these top parts and we have this bottom part now, which we solved for. Note that this top part, uh, the P of A given B times P of B is simply this same branch here. So that's, that's normal. You're gonna always have one of these two repeated. So, if we were doing this with Bayes' theorem, or we, excuse me, if we were doing this with the probability tree, we would take this first branch and then we would divide it by the sum of all the branches where we're getting to A. So let's look at doing that with the formula and we'll show how it, it looks the same. So we have the probability of B given A is equal to our probability of A given B, which we know to be 0 0.3, times the probability of B, which we know to be 0 0.8. And we're gonna divide this by the probability of A, which we found was 0 0.26. And if we go ahead and do the math on that with our calculator, you get approximately 0 0.9231 if we round to four decimals. And that's our answer. So note again that this guy here, actually let me do that in green. This guy here, come on, give me my green. There we go. Corresponds to this first branch here. So we're just multiplying those together. And then our bottom, our denominator here, corresponds to the sum of this branch where we're getting to A and this branch where we're getting to A, where we're multiplying each of the two probabilities on the branch. So that's it. That's all there is to it. 
So before I go, I just want to remind you all that if you're looking for any additional tutoring services or academic support at ASU, you can go to the Tutoring Center's website, tutoring.asu.edu, to find all of our resources. Additionally, if you're looking for tutoring services for your specific course, you can use our tutor search tool, which you can find on our main website page here, or by going directly to the tool at this full link. So thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.